Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi De Saluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome indeed. I am so excited. I am so excited because we are going to do or try to emulate the Mason Magella John Galliano fashion show Hot Couture Paris, of which the famed, the icon Pat McGrath gave us this iconic look and glass face it was fabulous i have not been intrigued about makeup for a while and this just blew me right out of the water and apparently a whole bunch of beauty enthusiasts were also they were actually excited pat mcgrath has been doing makeup for runway shows for magazines photo shoots all kinds music videos all kinds for years and years and years and as you very well know, she has got her own makeup line. So we are going to be using Mothership. Let me just lift it up. Mothership line. Just look at it. I'm so excited. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I love fashion. I love haute couture. Just look at the colors. Isn't it fabulous? Patty was so generous to give us a Magella masterclass and she recreated the look that was on the runway and then we are also going to use this palette absolutely fabulous 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 indeed so today I said let me really enjoy myself and let's go through all of this together so let me start elf primers are fantastic they are both power grip primers but the pink one has niacinamide let me just take the green one i used the pink one the other day it was fabulous so let us prep the skin and in this look i think what i was really happy about with the master class was that i understood how it was applied i had done it i think two or three days earlier and there were parts of it that i got right and there were parts of it that I didn't. All right. So I'm going to use Corsas. Yeah. And we're going to put that all over the face. And I'm going to use a stippling brush. Okay. Corsas 430 Rich Deep Neutral Olive. I'm so excited about doing this because I love makeup. I really do. I like everyday makeup and I also like the dramatics. And like I said, I'm coming with the mirrors. Yes. Some of you said we would love standalone mirror and then a handheld mirror. I'm thinking of those as well. So I might come out with one first and then I'm going to come out with little pocket mirrors like this too. So I'm going to go in with a concealer. For under the eye, Juvia's, love Juvia's. I'm just going to dab it right there. Okay. And then a little bit here, down the nose, under. Yeah. Beauty blender. And dab that in. Make sure it's completely diffused. Then I'm going to use a lighter concealer, any of your choice. Brighten up the eye a little bit. Alrighty, so to block out the brow, I'm going to use NW50 from MAC. I'm going to use a little brush. And this is very much like a pate. And I'm just going to block out the brow. And this is fantastic. Your brow will disappear right away what do we think guys i think that's great i want to do something very different i'm going to use color for a little contour i feel that ooh, that just might give it some kind of renaissance of sorts so let me go in with juvia's place i have a discount code with them this is the warrior three palette and I'm going to go in with this purple, okay? And I'm just going to touch it around my face, all the way around. I love it already. And then you know what? I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm just going to really give that hue on the edges so that you can see that it is purple. And then I want to do it around my jaw, there. 
Now, usually I would put my blusher right here, but that's not what we're doing today. Maybe a red shade, maybe right here. Right there. And that's what they did. They used their fingers to blot it in. And we're going to go in with this gorgeous red, which is beautiful. I'm going to put that all over right there. Yes. We're going to do the brow. The brow is to go above your eyebrow. So let's try. And then we do it with the other one. I just used my own brow as a guide. Perfect. I'm going to take a loose brush, use this beautiful shadow right here. Just swirl it like a big ball. There's no angle liner here. Everything is round. It's a beautiful shade. It's like a taupe. We're going to go underneath. Now we're going to go in the extreme black with a smaller brush and make that extremely dark. Open your eye and then curve it right there. That is how you get that illusion smoky eye. You're going to use a smaller brush and line the inside of your waterline. Okay. And we're going to put this right onto the lid. And we're going to try and put this in the tear duct of the aisle. There we go. And right on the side of the nose almost. So that when you turn, they can see it. And that's the Juvia's place. And we're going to stamp it underneath, okay? Okay, for the lip, we're going to use a dark Juvia's Place lip. I'm going to go on the inside of my lip, just there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shape in that. And now we are going to go in with the glass. And it was so exciting. It was so exciting because I had ordered the Freeman Renewing Peel-Off Mask Cucumber Refresh. And in the masterclass, Pat McGrath had said that they had used this and some other mask. It was like a concoction. So what I did was that I got a bowl. Blah, 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 and I mixed this with some water. And I'm going to pour that in here. Okay. I used the Juvia's Place brush because I didn't have a spray. I don't have a spray. And then I dipped it in like so. Yes. And there we go.
and then you wait for it to dry. You can use a hair dryer, but what I did was that I used a fan. You wait for this to dry and then you do it again. In the meantime, what do we do? We put a gloss over the lip and over the eyes. Yeah. So I'm going to use a lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just going to put it at the back of my hand so that I don't soil the lip gloss. There we go. And put some on my eye. There you go. So we just have to wait for this to dry and then we put on another layer. So my darlings, I've gone ahead and put on yet another layer. Okay? And this is what we've got. So we'll let this dry and I will be back with the finished look. Do not forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button my darlings, tag Pat McGrath and I'll see you later. <laughs>